My name is Joe Schlesinger and I have a new job. Long after, even decades after he retired, Joe Schlesinger was still bursting to be a reporter. Smelled stories just about everywhere. Certainly sensed one in the burdens of aging and the elixirs of memory and love. But it does take a lot of patience to be a patient. To realize what it meant when time came calling so frustrated a man who'd spent an entire lifetime fighting to live. Come here with me. No one here seems eager to die. I spent my whole life as a witness to history. First as a boy who during the Second World War lost his parents in the Holocaust. It's always been the case that any conversation about Joe Schlesinger's storied career starts with the story of his childhood. A little boy saved by the kinder transport, boarding a train with hundreds of other children escaping the Nazis. His parents were later killed in the Holocaust, and he never stopped missing them. The concept that news of the world mattered was embedded in that lonely kid's mind. I'm a Jew, so whatever was happening was affecting me and did affect me. So the news shaped me. You couldn't avoid the news. Anlock is the last sizable town on the road to Saigon. It's Canada's great gain that rather than run from the news, he spent decades running towards the most remote and ravaged pockets of the planet. CBC News, Dhaka. Peshawar, Pakistan, Prague. In the beginning, he reported for other outlets around the world. CBC Television News. Before finding his home at the CBC in 1966. Then there was a curious career choice. He dumped his job as the executive producer of The National to be a correspondent again. The Great Wall of China. The field, he always said, was in his DNA. Tread the rapids of the Great Wall. What did you love about being on the road? of having a carte blanche in life, of being able to follow one's instincts, of being able to find something new and exciting. Forget all that stuff about loving Paris in the springtime. August is the month to be here, because in August there are no Parisians in Paris. You can sit down and you can hear yourself think. Why do I get the feeling that that was your favorite part? The idea that your bosses couldn't find you. <laughs> That's right. Now the war is over, but the refugee problem is not. To come of age at a time when Joe Schlesinger was reporting was to hear a voice unlike alone. others on the air at the what time. More? What a comfort to so many who were new to Canada. You come, come here with me. And his empathy reached out. Maybe it's because he'd endured so much that he was so attuned to the struggles of survivors. It may seem like a futile fight, but it could have tremendous consequences. Over the battlefield, where the bodies of the dead are being removed, floats the sound of music. The music comes from a greeting card for aid, a Muslim holiday in April the card's owner will never see. Details, the tiniest of details, were treated with the greatest of care in Schlesinger's reporting. He knew their power to bridge distances. What's happening here is not some outrageous abuse of human rights, but just disregard of human rights. Brave, but not interested in bravado, and he knew the difference. Oh, this will go great. I mean, it's just, she's just a natural. The hardest of what he saw, he poured into his books and stories. His advice offered enthusiastically to generations of young journalists. He was ultimately showered with awards and honorary degrees. Among his most precious, the Order of Canada. There's something about the CBC that uh, for so many years allowed you to do things that other people wouldn't have, you know. Uh, I had an advantage, uh, a tolerance of my idiosyncrasies and things like that. Hardly a matter of tolerating Joe Schlesinger. This man was pitching stories until his very last days. He was a gift.